Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Detective Jim Gordon from the Gotham line of uh, Diamond Select action figures. This guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, packaging. I've already removed the blister, but the figure would have been displayed here. And it's got the standard backdrop for these figures. On the side here, it's got a picture of the actor from the TV show. And on the back, it's got a picture of the figure itself. And then there's a description here on the side. If you'd like to read that, you can just pause the video. And then down here at the bottom uh, were the other figures that were released uh, in this wave. So pretty standard packaging. So let's go ahead and look at the figure itself here. He stands at six and three quarter inches tall. So he's a little bit shorter than Edward Nigma. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it is because um, this is a seven inch line. So um, he comes with a couple accessories. Uh, the first one here is his gun. There's a lot of detail on there. No paintwork or anything, but I don't think it needs it really because the uh, detail's very well done. And then he also comes with a display base right here. Uh, the size on this guy is six and three quarter inches uh, long, about four and a half inches deep, and then uh, about five inches tall. So, uh, you know, pretty good sized piece here. I was very impressed with the weight. I think they molded these uh, garbage cans almost solid. That's what they feel like at least. So that's really nice. Um, and it does have parts up here for you to snap a, another piece on here. I know that another figure in the wave comes with that piece. I'm not sure which one, uh, but um, somebody else does. I don't typically collect these, so I don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, but there is a lot of detail on this base here, which I really like. As far as the figure itself goes, He's got a double ball peg in the head, and because of how his head sits on the neck joint, uh, you're not gonna get a ton of range of motion out of it. He can look up and down, side to side, but it's just not as uh, much as I think it should be for a double ball peg. It's okay though. Um, he does have ball hinge shoulders that go up about that far. They do swivel 360. He's got hinged elbows that do swivel. Hinged wrists with a swivel, and I must say that this hand here holds the gun, I mean, perfectly. Um, the only problem is you cannot get his uh, trigger finger um, into the actual trigger guard. So, uh, but other than that, I mean, like, he'll never drop the, the gun, basically. Uh, and it's easy to slip in and out of his hand without heating, which is also nice. His tie here is a separate piece. It is a little bit softer plastic, but I wouldn't play with it too much because it would break. Uh, he does have a diaphragm joint. You're not going to get the most range of motion out of it because of his jacket. It's fairly stiff, um, but I'm just assuming that this guy's not going to be doing a whole bunch of crazy action poses. Um, you can get a swivel out of it uh, if you would like. He has the DCUC style hips. So he's got a hinge that brings him forward, and then a hinge on the side that brings it out. Let's see. Oh, he's got a thigh swivel right there. Double jointed knees with a really nice range of motion. And then hinged ankles uh, with an ankle rocker. So uh, overall, uh, a pretty nice figure. All the paintwork and everything, the detail is really amazing. Comes with the uh, cool base um, and his gun. So I think for the price point, he's probably worth it if you like the character in the show. Um, for my subscribers and everything that watch uh, most of my videos, probably wondering why I picked this guy up and I'm doing a uh, custom figure. So that's why I don't know a whole lot about the character itself. Uh, I'm just picking it up mainly for the body. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.